So I believe that we can start. Do you see the title? Hello? Yes. Okay, nice. So the theory of, of automorphic function uh, starts as some rather auxiliary part of the theory of double periodic functions. Uh, so uh, I hope that everybody knows what is that it's uh, there are periodic function of real variables, and this is a rather uh, important class of functions. Uh, <clears throat> in contrast with real case, for function of complex variables, it is reasonable to uh, think about. Uh, double periodic functions. So they are invariant with respect to two shifts. In case of real argon argument, it's, uh, it's not interesting as uh, if ratio of this function is uh, rational, uh, then uh, essentially this function uh, just uh, has one small period because so they are periodic with respect to the uh, shift of combinations of omega one and omega two. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, and the uh, subgroup Z omega one plus Z omega two in R, if quotient is rational, is generated by one single period. Uh, if uh, ratio is irrational, then uh, the set is dense. Uh, so, if this function should be constant on the dense set, and this is not so interesting function. Okay. But uh, in the case of, uh, say, uh, complex numbers, so for example, uh, I can think about functions such that they are uh, uh, have two periods, say one and i. They're, uh, they're not, not so stupid object as this is lattice. Uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, the, uh, it can be that uh, uh, the, so the function which is period, which is invariant with the shift to this shift uh, may be rather interesting and is rather interesting. But I will study a different part of story. Namely, oops, uh, wait a minute, sorry. Uh, uh, for periodic function, it's not so important. What is period? Uh, so uh, if, so say function sine is two pi periodic, so function sine of two pi, uh, two pi t is one periodic. So, so, so exact, so exact value of, param of, of, of the period is, is a rather, uh, rather stupid thing. Uh, and context of this, so again, just just by rescaling of argument, I can change period. But if I have two periods, then I'm not able uh, simultaneously change both. If I normalize one, see by by one, then second uh, period is a true parameter of this system, of this periodicity, and so. 
uh, 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 the study of of this uh, uh, phenomena led us to to the automorphic the notion of, of automorphic objects. Uh, well, so uh, we can uh, think that choose. Uh, uh, yes, so we have two periods, omega one, omega two. So traditionally, again, all this in this size, there are a lot of traditions. Uh, so we pick. Uh, 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 so we take a treasure. Uh, so it leads us to the uh, uh, two periods two and one, and we pick and we we can pick two. Uh, such that its imaginary part is positive by changing. Well, again, if, if two has negative uh, imaginary part, that minus two has positive. Uh, so uh, we see that we reduce the question to the question that the function is quite is periodic, should be periodic, and periods one period is one. And another is some uh, point on upper half plane. So uh, we see that from this uh, speculation, we see that we should study something about upper half plane. So the second uh, important remark that uh, periodicity is periodicity not with respect to two vectors. Uh, somehow it's it's periodicity with respect to the lattice which is generated by three abelian group generated by these two elements and if we pick up uh, another generators uh, then we can function with the same periodicity property okay so if an initial uh, period was omega one and omega two, and I choose another uh, uh, generators of this lattice, omega one tilde and omega two tilde. Uh, then they are related by uh, some uh, integer unipotent unimodular matrix A B C D, and in this size A B C D is all time. Every time is, is is matrix elements of this uh, matrix. Uh, this produce my action of SL to Z. So my parameter is two, and T two uh, is nothing more than A two plus B over C two plus D. Okay. So. Uh, if I want to study lattices in C, then uh, I have reduced it to the following question. I have upper half plane. I have action of S L to Z. So unipotent integer matrices, two by two on it. And I want to study uh, this action and so on. Mm. So for example, uh, so the true parameter of periodicity is function on the space of, on the set of uh, embedded lattices, uh, such that uh, it is invariant uh, with respect uh, to the dilatation of, of, the, of the lattice. This transform in this way to the function on the upper half plane, which is invariant with respect to the uh, uh, fractional linear uh, transformation by integer matrices. Uh, and this is good object, it is, this is automorphic function, uh, but uh, it is reasonable to uh, 
to consider more general object, namely that uh, this function is not invariant with respect to denotation, but is homogeneous. So for uh, it can happen, it's also good parameter. Uh, at the other hand, if I have enough such automorphic forms, uh, such function which is not invariant but uh, homogeneous. If I take ratio of two homogeneous function of, of the same homogeneity, I get invariant function. So this is, is a way to construct automorphic form for function from automorphic forms. Uh, so this uh, mm, this condition homogeneity leads to the function on upper half plane, uh, which transforms under uh, under uh, fractional linear transformations, modular transformation, in such way. This is automorphic form, and k number k uh, is the weight weight. Sorry is the weight of this form. So, I finished some uh, introductory part. Uh, do you have some questions? Maybe I shall uh, uh, explain more details or something else. Please, I'm waiting your questions. Is your silence the sign of full triviality, what I say, or total untriviality? Okay. So, but now <clears throat> I give a definition, uh, but now I have trouble. Why this definition is uh, reasonable? Why I define something which, which exists? There the, are the no theory of yellow crocodiles. I can prove a lot of theories, but, but the, uh, all theorems are true for empty set. So for this, I shall demonstrate that object under such uh, condition exists. And this is ex the, uh, an uh, example. Uh, the basic example of modular form of automorphic forms are Eisenstein series. Uh, okay, so definition is the following. So, okay, I, uh, 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 so uh, I want to have a function of lattice. So the simplest way to construct it is just some uh, function on the elements of this lattice. Uh, so the trouble is of course convergence. And uh, the claim is that if I consider some just of powers minus k power of element of the lattice, and if k is strictly greater than two, uh, then the series converges, absolutely converges. And so it defines homogeneous function of the lattice of the weight minus k. Okay, why, uh, so convergence. So convergence is, is, is a rather standard fact uh, at so, for example, for loops from the integral uh, criteria. Do, do you know it, yes or not? Shall I explain why this function of this series converges? Please answer yes or no. Yes, please. Yes, okay, very good. Uh, so, I... Uh, Stop this and I. Oops, so. 
so uh, uh, I oop, wait a minute, sorry. Okay, yeah. Uh, so my letters L uh, is say M uh, omega one plus N omega two. So I can uh, put it into just R2. So we have function on R2, which is f of xy, which is equal 1 over x omega 1. Uh, no, 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 no. No, it's a better idea, sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry, it is a bad idea. Yes. So, uh, uh, yes, so I want to take this. Uh, oops, where is it? Oop, oh yeah. So I want to say over L, function f of l where l is one over absolute value z over uh no uh, z, z in power l uh, z in power with z in power k f So let me draw a picture. So I have such a so I worry about convergence at infinity. Okay. So I throw out. Uh, it's better to see. It's better to say, Drew. I throw out such a rectangle. Pi, and want to say that sum f of L, where L is not equal to zero, 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 uh, let's as integral over C set minus pi. f of l, some constant v, dz, dz bar. Is this an equal sign between the sum and Not, the it is, it, It's a, a, a quality. Uh, mm. I will explain. <laughs> I first draw it, and after this, I, I shall explain what I, what I mean. So I mean the following: that uh, so sum in uh, when it lies in big rectangle. Uh, somewhere L lies in big rectangle phi minus integral over phi set minus pi
So uh, let me uh, pick that this psi has length L capital. Uh, as O of L in power, uh, wait a minute, uh, so it's one third. Uh, one. Um, I think you, you should use a different letter because L is already used for. Oh, look for letters, sorry. So thank you very much. Oops. M is okay. Uh, M is okay, yes. M. Uh, o capital of. Okay, what is difference? So you see that the value of integral of a small rectangle around point and value of function at point is, is rather small, right? So sum of integrals over small rectangles is approximately the same as sum of values. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so, okay, let me, let me start to get, start from the beginning. It's, I do it in such a stupid way. Sorry. So again, so the claim is that if absolute value of L, uh, is greater than M, uh, so then uh, uh, one over L in power K minus integral uh, over domain uh, uh rare of okay so, uh, I, I, I really don't want to, to to write a formula so if I have l uh it's a point of uh, my lattice then I have a small rectangle around it is it clear wishes it's points which are closer to it than another to another point of lattice okay so this yeah. is one this is only the two then uh uh as uh, as we are very far from from the from the from the origin this function one over z is rather small and derivative also is small okay but so wait sorry uh well sorry i want to understand uh absolute convergence so i want to prove that some one over absolute value of L in power to K, in power, absolute value in power K is convergent. So I shall take function. Uh, here I put the, um, mm, uh, uh, square of this rectangle. This is Omega one, omega two. Wait, uh, so uh, wait a minute. What is volume of this object uh, minus? Oops, sorry. Omega one bar, omega two. 
this is volume of, of this rectangle, minus integral dz over dz square over the absolute value of L in power k. This is a rather standard fact that the integral over uh, so, and I want to estimate it. I want to estimate it. So what is a uh, jump of this function? Uh, uh, what's the difference between fu value of function at, uh, at, at, at the angle of the rectangle and, and, and the center? Uh, so it's one minus L in power K minus say L plus omega one plus omega two over square over two this point in power K. Okay. This is rather small, uh, small, uh, uh, this is rather small value, okay? Do you agree? I can estimate these just by uh, stupid bound one over m and power k plus one. Do you agree? So the difference between these two integrals. What is M again? Let L be greater, average value of L greater than M. Oh, I, this is L, okay, I see now. Oh, this, so this is This looks L, like a K. <laughs> sorry. Ah. Why? What is it? Why? So from this, I, can, I conclude that this, uh, yeah. So the convergence of this sum is equivalent to the convergence of the integral dz, dz bar of absolute value z in cow power k in, uh, so sorry, wait a minute, oops, where is it? If integral converges, then this sum also converges. Do you agree? As terms of in but now for calculation of this integral, I can pass to the polar coordinate. So it's integral r dr d phi over r in power k. So it's dr d phi, so it's in power k minus one. For k minus one greater than one, this integral converges at infinity. So my sum convergent for k greater than two. Okay, again, 
Uh, shall I explain more about uh, comparison of the integral or and sum? Or it's it's rather enough. I, I really don't clear. want to. Huh? I think it's clear. Yeah. Clear. Okay. Very nice. So um, we can return to the. Oops, well, okay. So this this series is convergent and it's evidently homogeneous. Okay. If I <laughs> relate all in, in lambda lambda times, then I get factor lambda in power minus k. So it looks that I succeed and show you that for any k, uh, there are automorphic form of weight k. With one small exception, evidently for k odd, this sum of course convergent, but is equal to zero. Just for L and minus L, uh, these two terms, terms with L and minus L, these terms cancel. So I shall prove that for K even, this sum is not identically zero. Okay. In order to do this, I calculate, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so uh, evidently for the function of corresponding function of two is just this sum. So it's sum of all points, of all points of, of the letters generated by one and two. So I want to show that this function as function is two is not identically zero. Indeed, let me calculate its limit when two is imaginary, pure imaginary and tends to infinity. This is written here. Okay. If this limit is not equal to zero, then this function is not identically zero. I hope that this is clear. Okay. So for this, uh, I just, uh, okay, let me look at, at this sum. Uh, so in this sum, there are uh, uh, terms which is not depending in two in t. Namely, this is sum over m equals zero and n uh, and n is not equal to zero. Yeah. So I, I sum on, 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 on only uh, only around along the coordinate x x. Okay. Okay. Uh, and and of course this and this will be the limit. My my claim is that all other terms, the sum of all other terms, is uh, tends to zero. Indeed. Uh, so I uh, so I want to calculate difference of 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 of, of, of this function and its limit. This is just sum of m not equal to zero. Sum for m um, uh, again. Now again, I split into parts. Uh, first part when n n is not is not zero, and another when uh, n is zero. So it's just uh, this stupid sum which is convergent. Uh, and tend, tend to uh, and lead, 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 leads as t in power minus k. So when tau go to infinity, 
it tends to zero. But for the first summoned, I use the following beautiful idea. First, I say that k is equal to k plus k minus two. Very deep result. So I split my product in two. Uh, first is um, uh, power of minus two, and second, the rest uh, power. So the first uh, uh, factor I can estimate uh, by t in power minus two, m in power minus two. Do you agree? Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's she is misprint. Sorry, I I I I, I lost. To say, sorry, I am proof in in few, in few minutes. Sorry. Oops. Yeah, okay. Oops. Huh. Uh, so the absolute value of uh, m i t plus n square is m square plus n square. M, m so shall I, uh, it's reasonable to. So what I want to, to estimate, Oops, sorry. where is it? I lost, oh, okay. So I want to get estimate for expression MIT plus N in power two K. First I split it in product of two. M I plus T square and M I T plus, oh, sorry, plus N. Square. So this is, uh, sorry, oh yeah. M I T plus N. So this is of course M square T plus N square. Okay? Just by definition. And here I use bound that this is less uh, greater. Oops, sorry. This is greater than m square t square. So from the first part, I extract very important for me factor t square. And uh, this I bound, uh, sorry. And this I bound uh, just by n in power to k minus two. So here I, so this term is important as I shall take sum over n over, uh, I want to, uh, convergence here uh, of, of this sum. So first part produce me a bound in t and second is convergent, okay? And this is written here, yeah. So, 
So we have this bound, you see? So, the, so here we have t in power minus two m minus two. So it has be, it, it has a symptotic t in power minus two, and here stand sum of uh, inverse of squares. This series is convergent, and here stand sum also of uh, okay yeah. Uh, of, 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 of inverse of big powers of n, this sum is also convergent. So from this, we immediately see that, um, that the limit uh, is exactly uh, this sum. Uh, this sum is not zero by the stupid reason it's a series of positive terms. So we show that there are non-trivial automorphic forms. Can you show it uh, again down below? Sorry? The inequality down below, can you show it please? Uh, which inequality? Uh, this after the word hands. After? Yeah. Oh, just show. Yeah. Yeah, so I take difference. This difference is just some, yeah, so the, the terms are the same. So I extract term with m equals zero here. You see? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, yeah, it's clear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I produce a bunch of uh, automorphic forms. At the next lecture, we shall uh, study more, them more precisely. But uh, here yeah, I want to finish this part or oh, it's in a bit earlier okay so uh as i have explained if i want to have automorphic function then i can realize it as a quotient so for example e4 in power three in uh, in four cubed divided by e6 square uh both of them uh has weight 12 Yes, but uh, uh, um, more uh, so, so 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 this is some fact that more uh, more reasonable object is quite different uh, is slightly different. So first of all, uh, we can take such a combination of e four cubed and e e six square. Uh, it's reasonable to take it, it's it's it, it, to, to, to take its combination as both of them are of the weight to, uh, 12. Um, I'm sorry, what is e4 and e6? Did I miss it? Yes. Sorry. Okay. E k of 2 is this sum. Uh. If k is equal four or six. All right. Oh, I put e2 sorry. as, sorry. Yes, yeah, that's okay. e4 and e6. Uh, so this form delta, which is known as modular discriminant, it's very nice function as, uh, and we have proof it. Uh, but it, it, it's a more complicated story. It, it, this function of two has no zeros on the upper half plane. So if I take such a quotient, yeah. Uh, so of course you can ask me wh why I divided by 107,028. Uh, Do you know what is this number? 
Ну, это Джейн вариант для... No, what is 1728? What is this number? Just... Uh, can I close? And put... So I have such a number. Uh, one seven two eight. What is this number? Do you know? Nobody knows what is it. It's uh, so thousand in, in the decimal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so it appears from there is some reason, but they are more arithmetic, uh, more number theoretical. Uh, so, but nevertheless, uh, well, uh, uh, if I want just to work. Analytically, I can divide my function by any uh, uh, any number. So, for example, uh, twelve cubed. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I think that for today is enough or not? How much time? Okay. Uh, then maybe. Uh, so the next lecture will be rather complicated and technical. So maybe today I explain, okay, I can explain something more. Or maybe this is enough for you. It's your choice. I'm, uh, shall we start here or shall I explain one? Uh, uh, one more fact. Okay. Okay. I think that we have some time. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have. Uh, спросить. Да. Um, вот как бы вы, ну там форма написана веса 12, да? И вы делите на 12 в кубе, наверное, неспроста. Почему именно Нет, 12? это не то 12. Нет, это, это 12. Это причина, да? Это... Так. Uh, okay. So, uh, I want to repeat, <laughs> yeah, uh, to repeat uh, all this speculation in slightly different way. Uh, and it is the following. Uh, so I take the group of real Uniport, a real unimodular matrices and it acts on upper half plane. Is it well known for you or not? So the claim is that if A, B, C, D lies in R, and imaginary part of Z is greater than zero, then imaginary part of AZ plus B over CZ plus D is also greater than zero. Do you know this fact or not? No. Okay. Uh, for this, I shall uh, show you that. Imagine uh, uh, under these uh, under these assumptions. No, under under these assumptions. Assumption. So for real matrices, imaginary part of A Z plus B over C Z plus D is equal to imaginary part of Z divided by CZ plus D absolute value of square.
I don't know how to prove this. The answer is very simple. Just calculate. If you want, I can demonstrate you. Here's something. Uh -huh. Okay. So I shall take AZ my plus B over CZ plus D minus AZ bar plus B. Here I use that A, B, C, and D are real over CZ bar plus D. Okay, so, so, so oh, sorry, this wrong formula. Uh, AD minus BC, sorry. And this is just calculation, all terms except of this one, this. Okay, do you believe me or shall I continue? Okay, let me continue. So it's A, C, Z, Z bar plus A, D uh, plus, well, no, A, D, Z, sorry, plus B, C, Z bar plus B, D. I calculate this a, a, a z plus b times c z bar plus d. Now I shall extract these, which is just complex conjugate to this. So this cancel. This cancel. Minus b c z c z bar. Minus a d. Z bar. So we win. Okay. Now the next. Uh, so uh, uh, again, yes. So uh, SL two R X. Second fact. Two facts. That it X. Transitive, transitively. So wait. So it acts transit. Oops. Transitively. And uh, stabilizer of I is The orthogonal group SO2. Uh, so this is again straightforward calculation. So, so what I want to prove for transitivity that for any z, any z is equal to a i plus b over c i plus d. Yeah. So I want to, kill, to, to, to say that Z lies in the orbit of point I. Uh, such and AD is minus BC is equal to one. And all of them are real. For this, uh, let me ch uh, pick, so C equal to zero. So X plus Y I should be equal A over D I. Oh, sorry, A over D. Wow, sorry. A 
a over d plus b over d i. And condition is that a d minus a that a d should be equal to one. Uh, sorry, is it is it correct? Wait. No, no, this is this is the wrong way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, no. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, so what I know that why no 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 this is bad sorry 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 let me put d is equal to zero I will explain in a few minutes what why why I why shall I missed yeah so then what I have that So what is this quotient? This quotient is uh, A over C minus B over C I. Do you agree? And this should be X plus Y I and BC is equal to minus one as D is equal to zero. Okay, let me substitute it to this. So I know that C is minus one over B. Okay, so I want to solve equation AB plus B square I is equal X plus y i Do you agree and this is solvable as my point lies in upper half plane y is positive so we have square root of it okay so this this stabilizer is what is stabilizer okay a i plus b over c i plus d is equal to i uh, the claim is that after this, uh, okay. I don't want to calculate, sorry. I rested for you as, okay. So, we can say that H is the quotient of SL2R by compact subgroup SO2. And at the other hand, from the another side, we have action SL2Z on this quotient. It is some trick. Uh, okay, no, I don't want to, to say, but uh, so I want to say here, and this is the last what I want to say today, that this is, can be easily generalized. As we can see the following. So SL2R is, okay, topological group, Lie group, something like this, yeah? So it's group with topology. Then uh, orthogonal group is its maximal compact. Yes. And uh, integer group is maximal discrete in some sense. So, uh, from very strange reason, I don't know why, in mathematics, very important role play, play the following triple. So, I put minimal condition. G is a topological group. 
and then we have k, which is uh, maximal compact. And then, then we have also group gamma, which is discrete. It's very important triples in mathematics. And uh, so uh, under some, uh, some condition on G and K and gamma, uh, it, it, this is basic, some basic object for the notion of automorphic forms. Uh, and so, uh, so next time, next time we shall discuss uh, example easier than G is SL2R. What is the simplest topological group? Do you know? You want is, huh? SO2. No, R. Uh, discrete group, uh, groups. Uh, R is group is topological and we have in it integer as which are um, uh, discrete subgroup and maximal compact is plus minus one. Okay. So now definitely it's enough for you, but, and I want to discuss with you what will, will be at the next lecture. Uh, so, uh, uh, this is topic which is excellently explained by Andre Weil in his book, Elliptic Functions According to Eisenstein and Kronecker. Uh, in second chapter, uh, he discussed trigonometric functions. And this is important for us. Uh, my uh, suggestion is that uh, you take this, uh, this text, this uh, second uh, chapter, and I will explain what is written in it. Is it possible to do in such a way? As it will be strange if I will uh, rewrite whale. It's when is a so good mathematician that <laughs> it will be very stupid to rewrite his text. It is in English and it is in Russian also, it is translated. Okay, so during this week, please uh, catch up somewhere uh, this book, okay? Do you agree? Okay, so now, uh, uh, do you have some question for me? Yeah, what is the grading system? What is what? System оценивания. Grading system? Uh, well, it is written in, in TUD. Okay, so you, you shall, uh, okay, at the first time I don't, don't give, uh, homework, it's, it will be <laughs> rather strange, but uh, so so I uh, I will give you homeworks and will be some test at the end. Okay, it, it, it is written somewhere uh, I don't, in, in system LMS, which is not London Mathematical Society, but something else. So you can can take it from it. All is written. So there will be a homework every week, or just sometimes? Uh, I I don't know just now. It depends. So you see, uh, it, it depends how 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 fast. Well. So, uh, for, for homework, I shall explain something essential uh, in, in the way that, that you shall check it. Uh, you see, uh, I definitely sure that 
the next time will be home, uh, will be uh, homework. But for the after first lesson, it will be strange. Do you see? Okay. So, thank you. Oh, sorry. Um, is is there a website for the course where the recordings are posted? And I hope so. Okay. Uh, it should be at. Okay, I I, uh, I want. Uh, so it's uh, but there is a, a website of all uh, materials uh, on the faculty, isn't it? Okay, what I want to say that this Zoom will be sent it to the to the uh, office. Okay. Also, I shall send them. Uh, these slides, I think it's reasonable, yes? And also I want to send, we will send them homework to the, to the, to the office, okay? То есть нормально, если я еще не записан на курс, то есть вы не будете рассылать через email ничего? Нет, я надеюсь, что это все-таки все будет выложено. Они же вроде... Sorry, they are speaking uh, Russian, but uh, as I understand, it's interesting only for Russian persons. Uh, нет, ну как, uh, я надеюсь, что будет, uh, что это все будет... Uh, на учебный офис должен все выкладывать на какой-то сайт, нет? Ну, хорошо. Ну, я, я, я этим озабочусь, хорошо. Mm -hmm. А вот а, про как бы доклады такого не предусмотрено, да? Нет, вот, знаете, это все-таки курс, а не семинар. К сожалению, тем для докладов, ну, вы не успеете за пару месяцев их сделать. Нет, это, это курс. Ладно. Ну все, да? Я завершаю конференцию. Всего доброго. До через неделю.